This video is part one of a two-part series where blackjack expert Henry Tamburin gives eight tips to become a winning blackjack player. Okay, the first tip I want to uh, discuss with you on how to become a better blackjack player is scouting the tables. Now, why do you have to scout blackjack tables? For a very simple reason. If you go to a casino nowadays, you're going to find a whole myriad of different blackjack games. You might find single deck, double deck, six deck, eight deck, plus some blackjack games that are really not blackjack games per se. There are variants of blackjack, and I'll talk about them in a minute. But all of these games may have different rules. And what's important is that each blackjack game that has a specific set of rules has a specific basic playing strategy. It's important that you know which rules are player favorable and which rules are favorable for, for the casino. For example, a lot of the blackjack games nowadays offer only six to five payoff for a blackjack as opposed to the tra traditional three to two payoff. A six to five blackjack game is a horrible game. It's one that you need to avoid because with a six to five payoff, the house edge zooms up to over 1%. So you got to be careful when you sit down and scout the tables. You don't want to sit down at a table that pays either six to five blackjack, or you'll see seven to six blackjack payoffs, or in the worst case, you'll even see blackjack payoffs with even money. Those are horrible games. Another rule which you have to be careful with is whether or not the dealer hits or stands on soft 17. It's more favorable for the player if the dealer stands on soft 17. If the rules specify that the dealers have to hit soft 17, that is not a favorable rule for the player. So that's another thing you need to look at. And there are other rules that you have to be aware of and you have to understand, is this rule good for me or is it good for the casino? For example, you want to be able to double down on any two cards. If the casino restricts you from doubling down, say, on soft hands, that's not a good rule for the player. You also want to be able to double down after you split a pair. And in some casinos, they won't allow that. So be cognizant of these rules. And what's important is the number of decks and the mix of rules. So make sure you have that information before you go to a casino and if you don't have it, I've got two sources, actually three sources, that you can look up on the internet and it'll give you this information before you go to wherever you're going to go play in a casino. One of them is my Blackjack Insider newsletter where I have professional players going into casinos in different areas of the U.S. and they write trip reports that explains the playing conditions. So there you can have information that says, this casino has these good games or they have lousy games. Another source for the uh, blackjack playing conditions in Las Vegas is my friend Michael Shackerford's website, wizardofvegas.com, where he lists all of the casinos in the Las Vegas Valley and what the rules are and specifically which ones have the three to two blackjack payoff. Another source is the newsletter, Current Blackjack News. This is published by BJ21.com. It's emailed every month to subscribers. And here you get a spreadsheet every month and it lists all of the playing rules for all of the casinos, not only in the US, but also in Canada. So there's plenty of resources for you to go to so that when you go to a casino, You'll know ahead of time whether or not they have a good blackjack game, and then you want to go in there and scout around and find that game. So that's the first task you need to accomplish in order to be a winning player. The second tip is that you have to learn the basic playing strategy. This is a set of rules that have been developed by numerous mathematicians through trillions of computer trials over the course of 50 years. This set of rules tells you how to play every hand that's dealt to you. 
the basic strategy is not open for discussion. It's not something you do some of the time and you do something else the other time. The basic strategy is the set of rules that you have to follow for each and every hand that is dealt to you, period. You must learn the basic strategy if you're ever going to become a winning player. Even professional blackjack card counters who make a living playing the game always go back to the basic playing strategy. This is the cornerstone. And you can even bring a basic strategy card with you to the table when you play. So there's no excuse not to play every hand perfectly. Now the thing you have to remember with the basic playing strategy is that there is no one basic strategy that works for all the different games. Single, double, six deck, eight deck. For every particular game and every set of rules within that game, there is a specific accurate basic strategy. So it's important, if you know you're going to play a double deck game, then you need to use the double deck basic strategy for that particular game and whatever set of rules are for that game. The same with a six deck game. And here again, you can go to my ultimate guide to blackjack. If you go to chapter three, I have colored, coded charts and tables that list all of the basic strategy for any set of rules you'll ever come across when you play blackjack. And this is the start to becoming a winning player. But you're still facing a negative expectation even with basic strategy. You've cut your losses down to a bare minimum, a half a percent of everything that you bet. That's what a basic strategy player faces. How can you get that edge down to virtually zero? Well, this is tip number three. There are some techniques that you can use to further decrease that house edge. One of them is what we call composition dependent basic strategy. The traditional basic strategy only considers the total of your hand and what the dealer's up card is. For example, let's suppose you're dealt a 10 and a 6 and the dealer has a picture card showing. Traditional basic strategy says you should hit that hand and we'll assume that surrender is, is, is not available. If surrender was available in that game, then the best play to make for that particular hand is to surrender. But let's suppose that surrender is not available. So your only option is you're either going to hit or you're going to stand. Traditional basic strategy says to hit. The composition dependent strategy takes into consideration the composition of those cards that make up your 16. And the rule here is if you have a 16 with three or more cards, then the better play in that situation is to stand. So there are several composition dependent basic strategy plays, which is not a big deal to learn and memorize. And it helps you cut down that half a percent house edge. You can find some of these composition dependent strategy in one of the chapters in my ultimate guide to blackjack. That's one way to cut down on that house edge. Okay, tip number four is to make sure that when you play blackjack, you get raided. That simply means get a player's card, it's free to get, and when you sit down and play blackjack, just put it on a table, and either the dealer or the floor supervisor will record your play, and in the computer will be how long you played and how much you bet, your average bet. That information is, sits with the computer, and what happens is, first of all, when you ask for a comp, for example, for a meal or for a show, or for, for anything, the fact that you get raided more than likely will increase your chances of getting that comp. And comps have value. And you can use this money that you would have spent for a meal, you can use it for your gambling bankroll. And if you're a regular player at a casino, for sure you want to get a casino host. And you want to make sure that you ask the host periodically for a specific comp, either for a show, a room, a meal, or if you have friends come into town 
ask her the the host if you can uh, get if she can get a room for you and more than likely they will do that if you're a loyal blackjack player at a specific casino so getting comps will also help reduce that overall house edge against you if you want to learn more about blackjack I encourage you to read my new ultimate guide to blackjack which is available on the 888 casino website and it's free to read you can also go to my website bjinsider.com where you can read back issues and current issues of the blackjack insider newsletter and you can also get three free emailed issues by simply going to bjinsider.com forward slash free trial don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our youtube channel just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.